welcome back to another episode. Thanks for tuning in. Today I've got for you the Bridgeford Foods tip of the month and it has to do with swim baits and more specifically a question that I get all the time from subscribers. And the question is, what size belly weighted hooks do you use in your hollow belly swim baits or even hard bellied swim baits uh, like a grass pig or something along those lines that you want to rig weedless and get down a little bit with a weighted swim bait hook and you know there's a lot of various things you want to take into account a lot of times the width of the bait itself is one of the biggest determining factors but across the board most of our hollow belly swim baits and most of our uh hard cord swim baits have relatively the same body shape and there's a really a pretty simple way to go about this and a really good starting place to figure out what size hook to use. And that's simply lining up what size hook. So in this case, this is a seven knot uh, Fusion 19 Berkeley weighted swim bait hook. You know, they come in all different sizes. If you're throwing, you know, say uh, this is a Hayabusa, this is a size five knot. You know, I've got all different kinds. Owner beast hook. That's an A dot. Guys, the easiest thing to do is just line up the size of the hook with the inches of the swim bait. So, you know, in this case, this is a six inch Berkeley power bait, hollow belly swim bait. So I'm gonna line that up with a size six odd. This is a Fusion 19 by Berkeley. Uh, you know, it's a six inch bait, six odd swim bait hook. Here's a five aught, five aught swim bait hook with a five inch hollow belly swim bait. And here's an eight inch. This is a uh, Bass Tricks hollow belly swim bait with an eight aught size uh, owner beast hook. So that's really the best way to go about it. Once you've got a starting point, you can make your adjustments, but I'm telling you for the most part, the only hook that you're gonna need is a six aught with a six inch, a five aught with a five inch, a four aught with a four inch. It's that simple. You know, there are gonna be ways to, to stray off and, and do different things, but it really should not be that hard of a question. I do recommend, again, I've said this before in other videos, if you're throwing a hollow belly, slit the belly open so that when you rig that and a fish bites, that hollow belly will slide over the lead weight and give you more gap room to hook your fish. That makes a big difference. If you're not doing that, you might need to increase your hook size because at that point, if that bait slides down, it doesn't have room to go any further because it hits the weight and it becomes really tough for that bait to compress and a fish to bite it. So slit the belly on your hollow bellies and that way when the, bait, when the fish bites, that bait slides down over the weight, you get more gap, you get better hookups. So for all of you that have asked me before, what size weighted swim bait hooks do I throw with my hollow bellies? That's it guys. Take the size of the hook and just equate that over to the size of the bait in inches. A five out hook, a five inch bait, an eight inch bait, an eight out hook. It's a really good place to start and it makes it pretty simple for you to break it down. And that's it guys. Today's tip of the month brought to you by Bridgeford Foods. Go select your weighted swim bait hooks, put them in your hollow bellies, go toss it around in some heavy vegetation and increase the number of bites and you have a shot at a really big fish. Thanks for watching.